Grow. Why me? Why me? Shout out of frustration. As I laid on the bed motionless. I've never done anything to anybody. The only thing I ever did was just play football. So now, I don't know why this has happened. Things happen for a reason. Just pray about it. You have just heard the conversation I had with my mother after being paralyzed. Thinking about her advice on prayer raised the question, does prayer have a positive impact on health? According to research done by the Health Partner Research Foundation, it says it does, they did a study on the characteristics of adults who use prayer as alternative therapy. The study is funny because the purpose of the study was to describe the demographics health-related on the adults that do and do not pray. Subjects, there was approximately 5,100, you know, sort of random sample. They took a analysis of maybe 4,100, 40, and that's about 86% of their subjects on this test. And what the results were is after adjusting for demographics, they actually found that those who prayed actually used alcohol and drugs less. They had more intakes of vegetables, they were more likely to get their flu, uh, flu shots, which was very interesting to me. And also on the conclusion, I'm gonna read this, says those who pray have more favorable health-related behaviors, preventative service use, and satisfaction with care. Discussion of prayer can help guide customization of clinical care. Isn't that good information to know? You know, I've quickly learned that you can put anything on paper and make it look good. I've learned that experience is the best teacher. Let's take a walk in my shoes to explore the positive effects of prayer on health. In the fall of 1995, I was a young, promising athlete who ran onto the football field at Sherman, Barcat Stadium in Sherman. Though just a freshman, my high school, my athletic prowess had earned me a spot on the varsity football team, which telling you I was super excited about. <coughs> A short time later, I was carried off the stage, carried off the field, a quadriplegic, paralyzed from the neck down. I must confess that adjusting to a disability is not easy. I went through every emotion possible from being angry to frustrated. It's just fear. That's why seven disappearing will. The most devastating depression. I went to two and a half, three years of depression. Thoughts of suicide clouded my mind like a, a thunderstorm. I thought about starving myself to end the pain of hopelessness. It wasn't a good idea though, because I like food too much. <laughs> <laughs> I even tried to smoke marijuana to soothe the pain. The only thing that ended up in was a headache, which required me to be lifted up out of my chair, take it over to the bed, <laughs> and slept on for a couple of hours because the headache was hurting. I didn't even, I didn't even have antidepressant medicine. And one thing that I realized after one of my crying sessions, I got tired of being sick and tired. So I finally did what my mom encouraged me to do. Pray. I like Jesus coming to my life. Have your way. I remember my eyes slamming shut, and I had a peace thing pass by all of them standing come over. I heard to the voice say, Trinell, you put football before me. I don't want anything put before me, but through this injury, I'm going to inspire others that if they put them first and turn mine to the fullest, they can do anything. My question why me was answered. I discovered my purpose, and once I discovered my purpose, life began to have meaning. And once life started, started having meaning, I started enjoying it to the fullest and depression dissipated. Now, I experience joy, peace, and love. <laughs> that's, that's five minutes right there. It's a perfect timing. That's five minutes, Coach.